This election day yes. is just right around the corner. Millions have already cast their ballots via early or mail-in voting. But for those voters who still have questions, we've assembled an all-star panel to help all of you out. And here are our stars now. Joining us to answer your questions about all things voting, CEO of the National Vote at Home Institute, Amber McReynolds, political expert and ABC News contributor, Mike Muse, and ABC News political director, Rick Klein. Good to see you all. And there are so many rules, there are so many issues, there's so much going on. So just quickly to each of you, and Mike, I'll start with you. A quick tip you would want to give every voter right now make a plan early bring a snack bring a folding chair if you can and be committed to the time you maybe have to wait in line okay to you now amber he says bring snacks <laughs> well make a plan to vote and and follow the instructions regardless of the plan or the path or the option that you choose to vote follow the instructions throughout the process and quick tip from you as well rick yeah, make a plan. Visualize every act of it and don't assume that anything is going to be like it was before. There have been so many disruptions to our lives, so many disruptions to the law. Know what those are. Look them up. Make that plan and stick to it. All right, let's get to our viewer questions. There are quite a few of them. So up first, we have a question for Amber from Audrey, who lives in a battleground state. Take a look. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I requested a mail-in ballot, but now I'm thinking I want to go down to the Board of Election and vote in person. Do I have to bring the ballot with me so they can verify I haven't voted, or will they issue me a provisional ballot? Well, so for to answer Audrey's question, in Ohio, a provisional ballot will be issued uh, to, to Audrey if she shows up to vote in person. So. Uh, a lot of people are asking this question. We've created a medium post on our website uh, that talks about the rules by state. But in Ohio, Audrey will vote a provisional ballot. All right, our next question is for Mike, and this comes to us from Casey in Alabama. In light of last week's debate, debacle, do debates still matter in this presidential election? If so, what should we as voters be listening for in order to sway our vote one way or the other? Yes, your vote still matters. I think now is the time for everyone to take stock into the key issues that matter to you most. Uh, there are some undecided voters out there. Um, listen to the candidates, listen to their closing pitch. Uh, don't listen to the polls. Don't let that persuade you. Don't let that make that determine who you're going to vote for. Nothing is over until it's over. And this next one is from Lisa from Fairfax, Virginia. Last week I voted early at City Hall. I see a lot of election polls on Twitter, Facebook, and TV. Is my early vote represented in these polls? Is my early vote counted yet? Or is it on hold until the election day? Yeah, our votes are different than polls. Uh, so polls are talking to people, some of whom have voted already, some people are still gonna vote. You may or may not have been contacted by a pollster, but your vote will count. Uh, the question really matters on the state as to when it's counted. There'll be some votes that are counted immediately, uh, on election day. Others might not be counted until that night or even days afterward. That's one of the interesting things about this election. And just because the election isn't settled on election night doesn't mean there's a problem with the election. Your vote will be counted no matter when you cast it, as long as you cast it appropriately and in accordance with all of the state laws and regulations. We have a question for Amber now from Masha, who lives in Cleveland, Ohio. Could I potentially help my elderly neighbor by delivering her ballot for her or would I have to give her a ride so that she can deliver it in person herself uh, for it to be valid and counted? So in Ohio, you can drop off your own ballot in person and you can also help family members. So in this instance, if it's not a family member, uh, it would make sense for you to drive her or help her mail it back if, if it's early enough to do so. All right, we got a last one here, and uh, Rick, it's for you, and it's a little scary. It's a scenario nobody wants to think about, but maybe we need to. Let's listen to Yasser here with a question for you. What happens and who takes power if there is no clear winner for the presidency or a congressional seat by Inauguration Day? So you could send yourself down the Google rabbit hole and find the scenario that actually has the Speaker of the House taking office 
on January 20th if there is no clear winner. But I, I wouldn't worry about that scenario. Far more likely in the scenario where no one wins a majority in the Electoral College, the House of Representatives convenes in January, uh, and they would vote to install a new president. Now, that's its own pork. Every state delegation gets one vote, so California gets as much uh, weight as Wyoming in that scenario. But almost certainly, uh, any dispute in the Electoral College will be handled by Congress. And we will have a, a, another president inaugurated, either the current president re-inaugurated or Joe Biden uh, on January 20th. Did, did you hear how you started, though? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about right. it. Well, Thanks, it's Rick. 2020, Rick. It is 2020. <laughs> we should point that out. Rick and says don't gonna... worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Amber McReynolds, Mike Muse, and Rick Klein, thank you all. We certainly appreciate your expertise. And, of course, a special thanks to our viewers for those very important questions that so many people have. Thank you. <laughs> all right. We want to remind you again to check out all the helpful election guidance available from our partners at 538. Be sure to go to their site at 538.com slash how to vote. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.